Hi guys, it's Jim Bounds with Cobb Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon. Scarlett picked this spot. We wanted to be zen today. All right, so namaste everybody. Take three deep breaths. We're gonna talk about where to start again. A good place to start is where to start again. I did a video about where to start and it barely got started. So I wanna back up a second, <clears throat> okay? You say, where to start on your restoration? Okay. First question, how old are you? <laughs> we all laugh about that, but then we go on. That's over here. What do you want to do with it? Where are you going to go with it? Do you have the dream that you want to ride off in the sunset in a beautiful motor home and, and all that? Okay, that's one thing. These will do that. Do you want to have a coach that will take you places and go th do things for you and you don't have to worry too much about, but, but really runs well and you enjoy it? That's another one. I had a guy, good friend of mine. We painted his coach. About nine months later, he came and said, Jim, I wish I hadn't painted it. Oh, gosh, I thought I did something wrong. He said, no, no, it's beautiful. I said, but I used to use this to go hide under bushes and plug into a place and stay hunker down overnight and stuff. And I can't do that now. Everybody comes over and looks at it. So that was the wrong motorhome for him. I messed it up. I told him, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, let me throw some dirt on it for you. But it really, it really, really depends on what you want out of the thing. If it's an object of your frustration and you just want to go on the on uh, in Facebook and let everybody know how much you know, go do something. Go work with an FMC or something. We want people in this community that really, really know these and want to, want to <laughs> and then, whoever, if, if this is you, I'll call you right back, okay? Don't worry. It's all day. But we want to all work together, okay? You can't be an island with one of these. You need help. You need to ask questions. You need to research. Can't be an island. You need help. And that's what Motorhome Rehab Ranch is here for. We want to help. Okay, so question two, what do you want to do with it? Okay. Let's say you don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, this is how much was left of this coach. I don't, I, you know, if this is what you want to do, God bless you, let's talk. This is, this is what we do, okay? But if you're looking to, uh, to take that coach and, and make it into something and use it for your family, these coaches, ones, ones that have been kept well, have an opportunity to go around the world one more time, okay? So what you want to look for is something that's not wore out where hell has to come together. Find one that somebody has loved, somebody's baby, somebody's daughter, he's cherished her, has been inside, has been kept well, has been maintained. That coach can be reused because the interior, how long does the particle board hang in there? Okay? Now, if your goal is to go all the way, it's a really good idea because this is the cheapest way to get a good motorhome. What's it going to cost to buy a new motorhome today? What's it going to cost? It's going to cost you $150,000. I'm not making it up. Go put a checkbook in your pocket, put a bolt through it, go to an RV dealer. That's all I need to say. If you went all the way down, you're still going to be less than going to buy a new motorhome and you're going to have something that'll value. Now, anybody tells you anything that has inflatable tires is an investment, you just hit them once and run. I'm not telling you this is an investment. I'm telling you the value in what you're going to do with it and the appreciation that people will have of it. And when you're ready to sell it, if you keep it in good shape, they're going to buy it, okay? Somebody's going to buy it because they're going up in... This is not a dead industry. This is an emerging market, brother. All right, so 
what do you do? Decide which direction you want to go. If what you want is you have a coach that looks pretty decent, you think you can do something with it, uh, it's not like that one there that's uh, the uh, microphone's hanging out next to the tire. If you've got a decent coach, okay, let's get it mechanically sound, okay? It's a great thing to do. When I say mechanically sound, that doesn't mean that quadrant snot carburetor is just going to be snotting just like a ritual. That doesn't work. You want this thing, you want it to be safe to put your family in, we're going to go to mechanicals. Now, that's where that other video started, okay? Into mechanicals. But all that stuff in the beginning, you've got to make those decisions first. Where do you want to go with this thing? And listen, brother, if your idea is you're going to put a little bit of money in it, you're going to flip it and make money, stop now. It doesn't work that way. These things are too old. It's like trying to make money on a Stanley steamer. I, it just doesn't happen, okay? So you need to get in this because you want to, because you want one of these things, and you're willing to put the money in to do it. You will put money in it, okay? All right, well, we'll do some more episodes whenever you see an episode that says, uh, where do I start? Let's, let's do that. What do you think? We'll, we'll, we'll start these ep this episode with... Where do I start? And then I'll, I'll tell you about what we're going to be talking about. And it will be on mechanicals. Okay? All right, man. Well, look, thanks for spending time with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.